Yeah, so the whistle thing for the, the dog whistle. When I was a kid, we had the dog whistle that was the shape of a cross. And um, it's weird because now, like, I always picture like that. I can't remember what, how he says it, but he was like, I'll whistle and gather my people or something. And um, it, it always reminded me of that a checkpoint in my life. Like, I never in my, like, teen years thought I would be dealing with Christ and be you know, like evangelizing and stuff like that at all, at all. But then I have that memory, I'm like, oh yeah, that dog whistle when I was a kid was a cross. And it's like he whistles and it's a call for your soul that you can't really hear with your human ears, but you can hear his spirit on the words. Like you said, the word doesn't come back void. Like you can hear when the, the Holy Spirit is moving and is in the words and in a painting or just whenever the presence is near and it's it's like i remember that dog whistle man and it's it's kind of the same thing like the the sound of just the of, of that holiness man and however potent it might be regardless man i believe that i believe all people are called by god to god and um not all people answer that calling but it may look different i do, I do believe god and the holy spirit transcends beyond all language and religion but it's Christ Jesus that saved me, man. And I gotta say that, like for real, for real, because if I don't say that, then the younger Vinny will still be lost, wondering like, what am I gonna do? Who's gonna save me? And it's like, that same Vinny that didn't know that there, there's so much freedom in Christ Jesus and in the blood of Christ and the salvation of Christ, that same Vinny that was like, hell no, I don't need that shit. I don't need that, that evil, you know, I don't even wanna mention, it. I don't wanna get started on it, but I don't need that. And it's like, yo, bro, you just didn't see it right. You, you've seen people that were full of greed, not full of the Holy Spirit. You've seen people that were full of anger and so much resentment, and you're wrong, and Buddhists are going to hell, and you're going to hell, and everybody's evil, and that's that's not the Holy Spirit, man. So the, that that same little Vinny, man, that was running around, if they got actual, just being all drunk, and <laughs> hey, like he needed to hear that same thing. So I try to like keep things general a lot, especially about, you know, not criticizing other people's religions and stuff. But, at, you know, at the same time, I do got to be like, yo, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be sober. I wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be saved. I wouldn't be nothing. I'm still a mess, but I would like, I was a mess for real. Like I was so just full of darkness and like just death, man. My body would feel clammy and cold and I would sit. 3 a.m. just talking to ghosts and like demonic tongues man just like trying to channel and do seances on my own I didn't even know what I'm doing I'm reading books doing seances and stuff like I was so full of death man I was so full of just lostness and it's hard when you see like when you think about the history of Christianity like where didn't get destroyed by Christianity in the Crusades like what tribes didn't get fucking ravaged i want to say another r word and just completely wickedness man they did the works of their daddy the devil man lie deal, kill destroy you know what i'm saying so it's hard for anybody coming from like a pagan witchcraft background native background indigenous in any from any place man to look to look at christ and look for christ for help man it's hard because you didn't receive help man you receive lies and forked tongues and said one thing and meant another. You you got you got to deal with people wanting your gold when they said they were here to save your soul, but before you know it, like your your village is gone and shit. your kids are gone, their hair is cut, they have a new name, they're getting raped and beaten, in their re residential schools and that's not that's not what they said they were about. They said they're about peace and salvation and eternity and love and light and freedom and breaking chains, but that's not what they brought. So it's hard for anybody Nordic and other people to look at Christianity, especially nowadays when people are just about their money, 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 this, man. They got five coffee shops and four cars and their kids are like in like all these, but they, they have no heart for the, the people here, you know, whatever. The res is here. You want to do mission work, crush it. You know, the, the, I don't know. I'm not trying to get too emotional about it because it took a long time to not get angry, like to be able to just say that and be cool and still be grounded and be like, all right, we chill, we cool. 
without like freaking out and losing my mind and getting angry because that anger was still there's so much in you so much hurt that we people carry man they don't realize that you know people are walking around with the trail of tears in their dna with the the, the witch hunts and the, the burning of witches in their dna from their ancestors like from from what that's still alive in people's hearts man and people don't understand how wicked they could be with their words like the word says like you got a generation whose teeth are like razors people don't care they'll cut you up you're gonna hell your whole family's gonna hell everybody who loves in hell burning and it's just like man what are you speaking in such death that's pure shoals that's that chaos you know that it's in a different I don't know. There's a lot to say. But I just want people to know the love of God. Like I said, man, it's beautiful. God's beautiful, man. And there's still a lot that I don't know. There's still a lot I don't agree with. There's still a lot where I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't understand it good enough yet. But if you do seek to understand, God will show you. For real. God will show you, man. Like, I used to get so angry at the Bible, especially the Old Testament. Don't read the Old Testament without knowing the New Testament, without knowing the love of Christ. For real. Because I used to spend years, years, hours, but years angry reading it, reading it, reading it in the rehab. Just sitting there reading for like hours, man. I'm like, what the hell? What kind of angry, wicked, vindictive, just slaughtered God? Like, I'm just angry. You gotta know the love of Christ. Because the Old Testament is sealed in a veil of illusion. And um, until you know the Holy Spirit, it, it, it's going to remain like that. You got to know the peace and the love and of Christ, the, the redemption, the, the way we're headed, not the way we were, you know. Where are we going? Because it's like I could always talk about man, like, look what you guys did. Like, look at the evils here. Look at the genocide of Rhonda and... Not just, it doesn't always have to be here in the United States because people get so, ah, I don't want to learn about the history, or whatever. Then look at Rhonda, look at other places where the same thing happened. Social classes got made. People got killed, genocide, like, it's so easy to look at that. It's been, it's been hard. There's all, so much anger that you got to break through. But the more you seek the answer, God, what is this? What, what are you trying to show me? Look at the other side of it. The more you're actually willing and saying, God, all right, look. Help me break through this one. Help me break through this. I'm, I'm upset right now. I'll be angry right now. People are like piss me off right now. What am, what am, what am I, what am I doing? What are you trying to show me? All right, what up? That moment of patience. You bring it in. God will heal you. God will help you, man. Help you break through. And then that's, that's a piece. That's a piece of the block that gets taken out of your heart that you don't have to carry no more. It's a piece that was weighing you down and keep you stuck and snagged in, in a moment of anger. In a battle that you weren't even alive for. That, it's, it's wounds in your heart that, it's just hooks in your heart. Ugly, that keep you torn. And it's like, ah, that thorn gets pulled and it hurts and the healing hurts and it crushes. And it's just like, it's worth it. It's worth letting it go though. But you got to look at it first. You got to feel it first. You got to let God... Put his hand on that hurt, the wound, the thorn. Ouch, God, it hurts so bad. You gotta let the doctor operate on you. We don't want it. We gotta be willing first. And as long as we're not willing, we stay the same. Shay. Bop, pop, lock, baby. Bop, bop, bop. What's it gonna be with the B up on the beat? Man, I miss rapping. I used to, I used to love music and I pray. Her God, listen to something.